by the way, did you guys watch the other game yeah. the other day? Yeah. JSA, man, for such a big team, that was a shame, man. How can you guys lose? Luckily enough for me, I did watch it. It looked like your wife cheated on you with a high school student. <laughs> can you imagine, man? Talking of women, I mean, like, seriously. Talking of women, by the way, what happened to last week? Ooh, you do it. She was pretty. Man, Please yeah, tell me you kept her. That baby is a devil between the sheep. Oh? Her rhythm was perfect. Yeah. Man, for a second I thought I'd found my match. Typical I David. See. Typical nah, David. I see, I see. <laughs> but, but she's Norse, man. Like, who does that? Like, who, who's Norse? Who's Norse? That's, that's, that's really I'm funny. Man, come on. That's a deal breaker. Wait. David. Hey. I'm David. I'm Charlotte. Oh, nice to meet you. Oh, uh, this is my friend Jessica. Hi, Jessica. Hey. Uh, by the way, guys, your next drink is on me. I think it's enough energy drink. You guys are having energy drink? Come on, I thought that was whiskey. I try to stay away from liquor. Daddy's girls? I mean, beside a little beer wouldn't hurt. In fact, if you guys get in trouble, I can take care of you. I'm not sure you will. Besides, oh. I don't know you. Why don't you give me your number so I can get to know you? <laughs> you could have me, eh? What's up? No, what's up? Man, that was you, interesting. You need a hug, I could. No, I, like, dude, she. I've never had a woman resist my charm before, man. She wouldn't even give me her number. That is Charlotte for you. Very beautiful, mm -hmm. very intelligent, very focused. There's no woman who can resist me in this world, I'm telling you. Except Charlotte. Mm. Let's Just make a bet. Mm -hmm. If I get her by the end of the week, you give me a hundred grand. Wait. Kawas, I'm no, cool, no, I'm cool with that. If you... Actually, let's make it more interesting. Uh -huh. Okay? If you get into our pants by the end of the week, each of us will give you a hundred grand. Even better. better. I just need her number. Yeah. I just need her number. That's well, all. I got I've got good news for you. Luckily enough, her and my wife are pals. So I'll get you the number. But keep in mind, she's not an easy one. Eh? <laughs> I'll help a brother out. Hey, hey sweetie, how are you? I'm fine. So how are the boys? <sighs> David is getting married. You're kidding. <laughs> uh, speaking about David though, uh, we were at the bar. Uh -huh. Me and him had a very interesting conversation. You know your friend Charlotte? Yeah. Yeah, Charlotte came around and uh, David tried striking up a conversation with her. And that did not go so well. My Charlotte, really? Yeah, your Charlotte. Uh, you know David trying to get his hands on any woman he comes across and things yeah. like that. So he, sh he thought, I think, he probably thought Charlotte would be the same game. But uh, Charlotte refused to give, to give him her number. Like, you know Charlotte, she knows exactly what she wants. Exactly. That is why I want you to give David her number. Because I think him spending some time with Charlotte might actually change him. Okay, that's a plan. But I don't think that Charlotte will fall into his charm. Plus, I think that it's high time that someone teaches that guy some manners. But do you really think it will work? If there's any person that can change David, I'm sure it's Charlotte. Okay, let's give it a try. Okay, so what do we have for dinner? Uh, this fish time. and okay. portion. I like you. And I like hanging out with you. Hello, hey, um, before you hang up, uh, this is David. We hanged out the other day at the bar, you know, um, I'm not a stalker. How did you get my number? Come on, it's not that hard to get a pretty girl's number. I mean, sweetheart. Anyway, um, I got your number from, you know, Mary, uh, Jesse's wife. How can I help you, David? I don't pick calls from strangers. I would like to go out on a date with you, I mean, if you don't mind. Uh, is that a yes, babe? No. Come on, dinner won't bite. In fact, I promise to bring you home early. Please. Okay, okay. Because you said please. And make sure you take me back. 
at 10 p.m. Yeah, sure. Um, I mean, I I'll pick you up at 7.30. I mean, will that be fine? Sure. Tonight? It's a surprise, by the way. My treat. I mean, up to you. Are beautiful. I mean, is there anyone in your life I should get to know about? No, uh, I haven't really thought of having one. Why? I mean, you're beautiful, you have a very cute personality. Well, uh, honestly, I didn't have one a few and, years ago. And? It didn't work out. Why? I mean... How about you? Uh, someone special I should know about? Actually, you know, about me, um, I was actually hoping that you know, that person was going to be you. Because I am. Um... You know, since the last time I saw you at the bar, I haven't stopped thinking about you. Really? Yeah, you know, I can take good care of you. That's what my ex boyfriend said really? before he ran off with a woman. Willing to give her body uh, to him right away. You mean you're offended with sex like you've never done it? Since you're talking about this, uh, let me tell you a little bit more about myself. Okay, talk to me. I've tried dating a few times, and? but it always follows the same trend. Which is? Uh, date, uh -huh. uh, hang out a few times, then? then sex. You know, I don't really have any problem with the first two. I have a problem with the third part of it. Come on, I mean, since you're already in the patron of the story, how long is it going to take us before we get to the third part? Let's say we do go that far. <laughs> Are you willing to wait for part three well, to say the others? Now I see why you've been in so many fair relationships. Like you believe in sex after marriage. Yes. Okay. That's what I believe in. I mean... You mm -hmm. know, I, I cannot give my body to someone who cannot commit himself to me. I mean, Besides, as a Christian, mm -hmm. I cannot define my body till I'm married to the right person. I believe in testing the waters um, before commitment. I mean, besides, I wouldn't want to marry a woman before knowing how good she is in bed. <laughs> that might be true, but there's nothing more beautiful than uh, giving yourself to your husband for the first time. Okay. And that's what I'm looking forward to. Wow. Uh, that has been hell of a lecture.
Actually, I promised to take you home, Ali, uh, before it's very late. I'm glad to see you keep your words. And uh, she mentioned that you and Charlotte went out on a date. So we will talk about this thing. Man, actually it was interesting, you know? Also, man, I went out on a date with Charlotte huh? and I've never had a woman to challenge my intellect the way she did. Man, she's like, <laughs> it's like women always give in to the idea of me having sex with them on the first date. Women can't resist my body. But Charlotte was just different, man. She's like, Sex is only after marriage. Yeah, that's a challenge for you. I was sort of hoping she'd be a challenge. Uh, but I'm just glad she accepted to go to date with you anyway. Dude, we had all this conversation I've never had with a woman before. Like, you know, she's she's like, can go out on a date, but issues about sex, that has to be after marriage. I'm like, man, she's different. Different. My sensing a change of heart. The playboy finally gave him way to love. Dude, you're ridiculous. That sounds ridiculous. <laughs> If I wanted love, I would have actually settled for it long time ago. I mean, but, I mean, you're, you're rich, you're successful, you put it all together, you have the money, you have... Why, why would you just sit it out? What, what's, what's so interesting about it? Like, why would you have to go home to the same woman every single day? But besides, I mean, I don't see any fun in that. It must be very boring. The beautiful thing about marriage is this. Mm -hmm. Having a woman you can always come back home to. A woman that loves you, someone you can understand, someone you can talk to about your problems, how your day has been. Man! Like, how can you even say that, man? That sounds so boring. Like, you come and share the bed, share everything. Man, I brother. I think it's always, it always seems boring on the outside. Once <laughs> you get in, into the whole thing, it's beautiful. I think that's what Charlotte was trying to test you. Me? Yeah. <laughs> commit to one relationship? Man, come on, I'm still too young to commit to anybody. Besides, I have a lot of time. I need to do a few touches here and there, make some decisions. I don't think I'm ready to settle with one person. Mm, no commitments right now. So, you don't plan on chasing after Charlotte anymore? <laughs> For the record, me and Charlotte were not yet done. I just need to do a few, uh, lay down some strategy here and there, do a few research about marriage so that next time when she comes, I can be ready for the whole thing. You know? Oh man, I wish you all the best. Thank you, man. Do your research, <laughs> do your stuff, and see if you can nail this one. I will nail it. Okay, I think that's it for the day. I call it a wrap, man. Hey, Charlotte, I, I think we need to talk. Hey, it seems like long ago when you first accepted to go out with me that day. Yeah, I remember one year ago, you were so stubborn at the oh restaurant. I really am glad I got to see you that night, you know, and um, I'm a changed man and I've never looked back. And I understand what you meant when you said you wanted to keep yourself for your husband and now we can get to enjoy it together. Told you I wasn't missing anything while I waited. 
and now I can get everything my heart desires with my lovely husband, David. You know, you really have changed me a lot, uh, emotionally and spiritually. I've come to know about God. Thank you, my love. You're welcome. <laughs> Uh, look at this love bud. You guys look good together. Hey, hey, Jesse, get out of here. You made me. <laughs> okay, baby. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Hey, yeah. Hi, Mary. Hey, hey. hey. You're looking good, Thank you. Eh? Thank you. Thank you. Oh. But they don't look as good as you. I know, I know. We'll get there someday. <laughs> so, Jesse, how have you been? I've been good. Been how good. about we leave the boys and we're going to take it? Sure. Yeah. All right, see you later, babe. See you can you. have a seat. Yeah. Woo! Ah, nice place, eh? This chair is really comfy. I know. You know but how <laughs> Good. This marriage thing isn't so bad, is it? Man, Jesse, marriage is a beautiful thing, you know? Actually, I'm glad my wife held her body for as long as she did, especially for me. You know, all the things I used to do in the past, you know, all the drama, all that is past me, all thanks to her. I'm really glad you met Charlotte. She is the perfect fit for you. And uh, by the way, you still owe me. <laughs> you lost the bet. <laughs> you still remember the bet? Oh man, the 100 grand. Yeah. <laughs>